Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of Destined to be in love that loves reacting to some Destiny. Yeah, we do. And so uh, we're getting to Taken King, which I've heard is when uh, the story for Destiny and the cutscenes get really good. Um, so looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to watch like the first 30 minutes of it or whatever, and then we're going to discuss it, and then we'll watch the last part of it. All right, so we're gonna break it up in a, a little bit because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a longer one. If you want all of our Destiny reactions, our full Destiny journey, go ahead and check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Because we make it easy. Yeah. Mario. Once I looked up at the stars. I was a guardian. I stood against the darkness. My eyes saw hope and a future full of light. Six of you went down into the pit. Oh, um, again. You sought revenge for those I lost. You slew a god. Grota. Yep. With his last breath, he reached out across the night. And now, the night has answered. I feel like we've seen this before in our Destiny uh, reactions. Yeah, I think Grota's so. Father. He smells the blood of his son. He looks badass. On mm -hmm. Your hands. That's not good for you guys. Hmm. <laughs> he just like, suck out his soul? I think so. That's nice. Very cool shot. I was born the moment the traveler died, as everything collapsed around us. Before that day, there had never been a ghost. There had never been a guardian. I don't know much about the traveler but I know it made me to bring you back. And I spent a really, really long time searching for you. Hmm. The Cosmodrome? Not the first place I looked. So glad the ghost As is I back. I saw the other ghosts mm -hmm. find their guardians, and the centuries went by. I wondered if I'd ever find you. And then, I did. I remember everything about the day I was born. I still bear Impressive. the scars. Mm -hmm. The Awoken are my family now. Mm. And queen. I am their yeah. queen. So the day she was really, truly born. That's Awoken. Yeah, it's crazy. This is already the best cutscenes we've seen. <laughs> I mean, this. We fought 
to keep our beautiful creation safe. But now this beast has come, claiming to be king. Marasav bows <laughs> to no one. I can respect that. this ends. We've known since you escaped from that pit. Okay, he has magic too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, you can see it on her face. Hers was good. His may be better. pressure sweet guardian this is commander Zavala the cabal base on Phobos is blasting a signal across all channels they're willing to break transmission service this could be a prelude to a full-scale assault we're setting down on Phobos now I'll be monitoring your feed ghost Good luck to you both. Nice entrance. Mm -hmm. It's a cool view. Mm hmm. Evacuating with extreme prejudice. They're getting torn up down here. Guardian, I have asked Eris Moore to monitor the channel. I hear whispers in the dark. About how six went down and you only came out. What the hell was that? Fingertips on the surface of my mind. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Felt the same way. Like a horrible scream. The whispers yeah. are louder. I will endure. Okay, lady, good for you. There's so weird. Speak a word, a name. Okay, when you 
figure it out, let us know. He is here! Oh! Perspective is so tough because, like, the gun obstructs your view. Oh, yeah. And then the kickback, too, so, like. <laughs> Whoa. What just happened? I don't know, like one of them split and yeah. two. I thought he was going to do that to all of them. That's what I thought too. Is that like his astral projection? Contacts near Saturn say the weapon fired only once. It's not like the Queen to attack a superior force. How could she have known? How could anyone? We need a warlock inside the Dreadnought. Here we go. Our first priority must be to protect the city. Our Guardian got a good look on Phobos. Whatever it was, it turned Cabal against Cabal, wiped out that base in minutes. How long would we last? Until we understand what we're dealing with. They are taken. Eris, get your rock off my map. You haven't <laughs> spoken since Crota <laughs> fell. It speaks now because Oryx has arrived. Come to fulfill the final covenant of his son. Eris is such a Debbie Downer. But why fight the Cabal? Not fighting. Taking. Controlling their will. So we focus <laughs> on his army. Kill these taken until he's all that's left. Whatever you kill, Oryx will replace. The Dreadnought then. How do we get past that weapon? Without ending up like the Awoken. I gotta go, uh, see about a ship. Kate. Our discussion is not yet concluded. Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> yes. I like Kate. <laughs> yep. He's awesome. Bit of a cowboy. There's the guardian I've been looking for. Look, the only way to stop the Taken is to get you on the Dreadnought. Okay. All right, let's do it. We need a stealth drive. I've got one hidden in the- Kate, what are you whispering? Nothing? Nothing. I'll contact you in the Cosmodrome. 
Although Eris' design was pretty cool. You didn't make it back. You watch yourself. Like we hadn't really like seen her in a full cutscene. The black tears that she had. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like we hadn't seen her in a proper cutscene before, so like to see her to be fully up. realized was cool. I say it's all about where you belong. The warlocks have their libraries, titans have their walls, but hunters belong in the wilds. Out there, you want to live, you better have a quick shot or a sharp blade. Hmm. A lot of us are loners, but that's not the only path. Some of us know the difference a fire team makes. Some of us, we touch the void, make it a part of us. And then we take a name, Night Stalker. Hunt from the shadows, pin them down, never let them see you coming. Okay. Stealth. Mm -hmm. Tapas is our most experienced Night Stalker. We can't afford to lose him. Plus, you know, he's an old friend. Owes me money. <laughs> design is pretty cool too like the way like there's that glow around the mouth yeah yeah fascinating if anyone can hear me i don't think i'm on venus anymore this looks awful lot like the black garden i thought i destroyed the black garden javis that you kate good that i can't smell your breath Listen, I stepped through the gate. My ghost is still on the other side. Well, he's in a great mood. See if you can find his ghost. If Tevis is trapped in the garden, he'll need you. Ah, poor unsuspecting Hopgum. Hmm. Well, you said we destroyed the Black Garden. He had said I skipped over into a Black Garden, so maybe there's one of one. Maybe. I don't know if we even destroyed Black Garden. I, Black Garden, the name sounded familiar. I thought we like went in there to destroy something. Fine. Yeah, we did. I'm picking up the origin point of the broadcast. It's a dead ghost. Oh no. Right. Let's hope Tavis is still kicking. Tavis, if you can hear us, we're getting telemetry through your ghost. We can use the gate in the Valley of Kings to get him out. Let's go. So can a ghost never be repaired? <sighs> Guardian, I've been trying to raise Tevis. He won't answer. Either he's in over his head or... Look, look that guy owes me a lot of glimmer, so... Uh... He better still be kicking. Alive or the other thing, we need to find Tabis. There aren't a lot of Night Stalkers in the field. We can't afford to lose his connection with the Void to the Vex. Go get him. Tabis has a gambling problem. He owes a lot of people a lot of things, and I think that he's like going on the suicide mission so he can get out of that. He's, he's stacked up debt and. <laughs> Tabis is a cheat and a liar, and he smells <laughs> like a barrel of thrall spit, but he's our cheat. The Vex can't have him. He's a degenerate. But he's our degenerate. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Hey, no. That one wasn't messing around. Mm -mm. Tevis is gone, but the light in his bow still burns. Won't stay lit forever. Maybe you're wrong. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. We do. Sorry, Tevis. Take them out, Guardian. Can we get you in time? Awesome.
that bow is sweet and like the shot when it happens. Mm -hmm. When they show you shoot it, it's really cool. I'll be honest, Guardian. I wasn't sure you could connect with the Void. It's always a challenge. I should have known better. We may have lost Tavis, but your strength means the Vanguard still owns the night. Come on back. Turns out Crota does have a father. His name is Oryx, and he's come all this way to kill you. Oh, nice. Oryx, let him. Oryx controls the Taken from a dreadnought near Saturn, but we can't get close without a stealth drive. Lucky for us, I hid one at the top of an old colony ship before I got roped into the Vanguard. How do you know it's still there? You better hope it's there. You won't survive the dreadnought without it. Head for the devil's lair. Have we been anywhere else on Earth besides old Russia? Uh, We've got a you know what? I here. don't know. Me I remember guess. old Russia from before. Yes. Yeah. real bad. Not fallen. Taken. Thought we'd have more time. How bad is it? Taken everywhere. Fighting the fallen. Earth's gonna look a lot like Phobos if you don't find that stealth drive. The door's already open, Kate. We're inside. And the flux grenades didn't detonate? I gotta get out of this tower. Chances the elevator still works. Yeah, you can get to work, Ghost. Or just work something. Now, those like We're holes in the floor and the wall that look okay. like it's going straight into space. Was he stepping on those or avoiding those? I, I'm not sure. He was avoiding them. Relax. It works fine. But stand by for a resurrection, Ghost. <laughs> From this height, I can pick up taken energy reads throughout the Cosmodrome. You know I was here, looking for you, when the first Fallen crews came through. It started with one skiff. A few months later, the Cosmodrome was theirs. The Taken had done it in hours. How do we find your stealth drive? There's a bridge from the tower to the ship. It took me days to get it working. It's a little unstable, so watch your step. <laughs> Kate, okay, someone move the bridge. Destroy the controls. Yeah, that's the Fallen. Probably trying to get the Taken off their backs. See if you can reroute the power. Queen of Spades? There's still an active feed moving through those pipes overhead. Guardian, if it's you find the family. source, I can patch the circuit. Yeah. Once you get the bridge working, my stash is in the ball on top of the colony ship. We're still waiting for details on this plan of yours, Kate. Yeah. Uh, give me a second, Guardian. <laughs> The plan's for me. Evolve. Yo, ghost. where I left my stash and watch yourself on that bridge.
a long drop. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. Oh well, that sucks. Jump. Oh, yeah. oh okay. yeah, rock boots. Okay. Advice on which way to go? seem pretty mad. Yeah. Or it's mm -hmm. still be holding a grudge for us. You know, killing Crota. Things won't get any easier on the dreadnought. You find my stealth drive? Are you sure it's still here? It's like all things. You gotta know where to look. Enter frequency 5982, ghost. Places are always in plain sight. Transmit it out of there. I'll get it set up. Just do me a favor. If you find anything else I've hidden, leave it for me. There'll be treasure enough for everyone on the dread hunt. It makes me think of the drones in Clone Wars, the <laughs> murder bots. Roger, Roger. Maintenance. Roger, Roger. Requesting visual confirmation. Yep, that's the last one. Port side. Confirmed. Interesting oh, Roger, Roger. tech, Cade. Isn't this Eris Morn ship? Is it? Huh. You know, you're a true artist. Can't even see the join. <laughs> but Zavala's got sign off on all launches. Need the log while I'm letting it go. Stargazing tour. Okay. How about an unsanctioned op using modified stealth tech to infiltrate a dreadnought above Saturn's rings so we can knock out its weapons, create a transmat zone, and send in the cavalry. How about test flight? I knew she was going to go something different. We'll be waiting for you when you're ready. Me? <laughs> oh, I'm not flying that thing. Yeah. Uh-oh. Now they have a weapon that does it. Not good. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah. For sure. I think they can see us. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't we be all right? 
We're just stuck here with no ship and no transmat zone. Great. Told you my stealth drive would work. I'd like to tell you the strength of the city is behind you, but as long as that dreadnought's still firing, we can't risk reinforcements. Head inside, see if you can find whatever's powering that weapon. Same thing we saw right before Phobos fell apart. Might be some kind of probe. Expect trouble. No, definitely not, especially the sound. Ugh. Oh. Mm -hmm. toxic fish. According to the world's grave, the hive ingests those worms. Not for sustenance, Ugh. but survival. Worms. Spores. Gross. Moths, worms. All things Earth's ancestors believe grew from the dead. Just a thought. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he thinks of that thought. <laughs> Scratch the surface of the dreadnought. Hive keep vital operations deep in the core of their architecture. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. It's like oh. as it reveals pieces of that bridge, I think the part in Indiana Jones when he throws the rocks across. Yeah, the... yeah. That energy powers the weapon. Kate, what do we do? Destroy it? Okay, hold on. Eris is going on about breaking the necrotic... Ah, just shoot it. Yeah. Ah, there's a shield up. Let me take it down for you. No. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Great team. Okay, it's down. I'm picking up other channels to the weapon. Find them. It won't stop firing until you shut them all down. Take a gun, dude. Cycling down. Let's find another channel. There's a stream of interdimensional energy concentrated within that field, growing stronger. Uh -oh. And something just stepped out of it. Yeah, nothing good. <laughs> Stay on target. We need more guardians on that dreadnought. A fanatic of crew. The weapon's down. Kate, what's our next move? We need that transmat zone up and running. There's a massive hull breach near your position. That'll be your best bet. Ball ship. Skyburner's colors. Must have deployed from Phobos. Cabal? We'll deal with them later. Secure that transmat zone. on your unorthodox mission. Your victory, no matter the method, is a vanguard victory. You have our thanks. 
Yeah, no problem. Loves a bad idea when it works. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Mm hmm All right, what do you think so far? Man, there is a lot going on in this world. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like everything we've seen before maybe just scratched the surface because this is is so detailed. Yeah, it's a uh, it was a nice setup that like combining um, the dark below and uh, House of Wolves now uh, leading leading in this one because like. Dark Below and House of Wolves kind of felt like a little bit like disjointed from the, the main story that we had followed in the first uh, in the base game of Destiny. Yep. Um, they kind of like now now we're seeing how they all like uh, tie into this one and uh, just right away the first um, cut scene that we saw just was like okay yeah this is like the best thing that we've seen so far from Destiny. This is really it was really engaging. Um, the graphics were really good and yeah and Kate Six is you know we get more Kate Six which he's awesome. Yeah, I do like that we're seeing uh, even more of the personalities come up in, mm -hmm. in this one, because I feel like we've gotten tastes of them before, but this one yeah. just, there's so much more interaction that you really get to know them a lot better. Yep, agreed. Okay, so we took a quick break in between as well to uh, refresh our drinks. We got ourselves uh, some margarita for this next part. So margarita cheers. time! That was a really pretty shot. Yeah. Marks could be anywhere on the dreadnought. <clears throat> With time, we could find it. We don't have time. The Cabal have been there long enough to have real field intelligence. The path to orcs lies on their ship. Okay. A Cabal are still holding out. Multiple survivors. Survival is a temporary condition. Cut through them and get inside this ship. Who fights this hard to protect a crashed ship? That's not a crash site, it's a beachhead. Only way those doors will open is to send reinforcements. Draw them out. Zavala, we're in. What's next? Cabal protocol is to detonate any ship that crashes. If they haven't after all this time, it must be a base of operations. They're looking for something on the Dreadnought. See what they know about Oryx. Oh, nice. There's a terminal nearby. It should have the info we're looking for. have located Oryx. He's protected in the center of the Dreadnought, which you will only through something they call a rupture. That doesn't sound good. Must be some kind of <laughs> think. Have the Cabal found one? They've got a team heading for it right now. Then I suggest you get there first. You think? <laughs> I'm gonna start a hotel, hotel chain. Vacation spots called the Rupture. Oh God. <laughs> Definitely the name of a hotel from a horror film. Eris, <laughs> what's their next move? Don't ask her. Toland spoke of statues the hive used to navigate ruptures. Look, okay, that's actually like yeah, somewhat of reasonable piece of information. Yeah, it was normal. <laughs> Not like cryptic prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if it's still active. Go, ghost, go. It's linked to the rupture, but I can't understand how the hive control it. Let's try another statue. Yes, the statues control where the rupture leads. They could deliver us to Oryx. All right, Eris.
He's dead. But something's happening at the rupture. The rupture's opening. So I hate to admit it, but I just noticed for the first time that whoever's speaking, their name is in the top right hand corner. <laughs> Okay, I had to get through that rupture. It's interesting how the perspective changes when we do the bow and arrow. Like something becomes yeah. a third person perspective. But right. when we're shooting with the gun, it's first person. Then it's true. Only the ascendant can will a rupture to open. Okay. There's something ascendant passing through right now. I got your ascendant right here. Damn. Yeah. Damn is right. Run, see cover. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. Ooh, echo. Okay, so that's... So what's this like actual projection? Ooh, we got it. Yeah. Good job. The rupture is closed. It's just an echo is what they call it. It will only open for ascendant hive. Uh, be downer. Oryx. Become your enemy. <laughs> Become ascendant. We'll sort this out, Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just come back. We'll, we'll explain. Become In ascendant. English. Okay. Yeah. You want to explain that one? We must make you an ascendant hive. Find the crystal that held Quota's soul. Okay. Right. Piece of cake. It began with Crota. But Crota was only a servant of his father, sent to extinguish the last of the light. The great battle fought for the soul of our world ended in slaughter. The sun was dead, and we invited the wrath of Oryx, destroyer of light, taker of will. Only Ascendant Hive moved between ruptures. To reach Oryx, you must walk in the dying footsteps of his son. Oh, Dark. Nice. You must become Ascendant. She doesn't ask for much, does she? No. Hold fast to Tolan's journal. It saw me through my time in the dark. Hold fast to your gun, Guardian. Hmm. You're headed back to the chamber where they held Crota's soul. All right. Here's what needs to happen. We have to steal a chunk of Hive Crystal that's still got a trace of Crota's soul so you can pass through an interdimensional portal of the Dreadnought and kill Oryx. Anything else, Paris? It must be done before Oryx turns his scrying eye to this realm. Ooh, his scrying mm -hmm. eye. I like that. Good choice of words. Tolan's journal contains an impressive amount of data. I should probably read it. Done. Some of this stuff is fascinating. The Dreadnought shields the Hive from the Traveler's light. Were we to pass through its deepest layers, our light would be as a dying sun. I don't think Tolan was much <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ghost. Love it when Ghost brings the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> A big dude. Looks pretty pissed too. <laughs> that was a nice weapon. It's gone. I think Oryx just took an ogre. Not even Oryx can control an ogre. Unless it's taken. Now yeah. quickly, I need a shot. Took an ogre. Crystal. It's not taken. 
We've got it. I knew it could be done. And does it still hold the whisper of Crota's soul? According to my analysis, it's empty. It's not. No matter. Mm. Return to me, Guardian. And we will destroy. Uh oh. Nah, good. Mm -mm. Eris? Cade? I think we've lost them. Something's blocking our oh, signal. Shit. Transmit. The hell is that? Ooh. Yours. Damn. That's a lot of big dudes. Yeah. There's too many of them. Yeah. Run. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep running. Eris, Cade, can you hear us? Still no connection. This must be how the hive trapped Eris. Well, we know how it worked out for her. So. Yeah. We, we, we've heard the story. <laughs> Only there's not six of us, so we don't yeah. have five sacrifices. <laughs> Doors used to be so simple. I'll search the journal. Yeah, not according to Batman. It has long been my belief that the binds which hold the gravest hive terrors could be lifted by releasing the energy stored within their two husks. Okay. is getting stronger. Better to have a tomb husk and not need it than to need a tomb husk and not have it. You sound just like my mom. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. Three locks. I can say they are trying. <laughs> I'm so glad Ghost is back. Yeah. Or at least the voice is back that we can hear him now. I missed him the last couple times. Get out of that pit. We must have that crystal or we'll never reach Oryx. Yeah, we were working on it. Yeah, it's like we were like fucking partying down here and just. Just run. Son's crystal. That's how Eris says she appreciates your sacrifice. <laughs> Glad you're still alive. I think Eris has some weird kinks. Yeah. Do not have much time. The Vanguard ignored my warnings, but now they seek to help. Kate has sent for you. Human. Human. Uh, starting to miss yes, Look, Eris has a nice smile, but obviously she doesn't care if you live. <laughs> well, yeah, we got that. Let Oryx find you again. If you're going to steal Crota's soul, you need some real cloak and tech. Okay. Stealing from Rasputin. You are entering a world you do not understand. Oh, don't worry about her, Guardian. She's still mad about what you did to her ship. <laughs> we need cloaking tech to slip past the Taken, and the Warmind Bunker's got the code we need. I hope it's better than your stealth tech. After all this time, how can we be sure Rasputin has the code? Good question. I already mm -hmm. stole it once. Use my last copy making that stealth drive you blew up. That it was getting old anyway. I feel like I stand with skate doof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whenever we can have the technology for those things. 
I haven't had much luck breaching Rasputin's security. You've got the same bypass frequency that got me inside. He will protect his domain. More interdimensional goo. The Taken are here. What? Not possible. We sealed the complex after the Omnigal breach. Okay, oh. look at this. There's goo. So. <laughs> look bad. Okay, so if you see him, uh, just shoot him. Thanks, How Kate. Even get in there? The Taken are not bound by terrestrial constraints. Yeah, I'll bet they'll be constrained by terrestrial bullets. Track us so easily. Oryx really does hate us. <laughs> Good. Which is exactly why we're here. Means we're paying the ass out. Systems follow no logic I understand. I'm not sure if it can be modified to work on a guardian. Where do you think Blade Dancers got their cloaking ability? If the Vanguard are satisfied, we can finally end this. Return to the moon. Steal Crota's soul. Yeah. Okay. You've got the crystal. All you have to do now is fill it with Crota's soul. The hive are in the middle of some kind of funeral, so. Not a funeral. A death ceremony. Crota's essence is being prepared for the next realm. Right. So when you get to this funeral, <laughs> use Rasputin's cloak to slip past the Taken. Find Crota's soul, wrap it up, and get out. Where exactly are we headed? When the Death Singers begin their song, you'll know we are close. What she's trying to say is that she doesn't know. Don't worry. I'll keep my ear to the ground. And I will try not to step on his head. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, finally. Ares has a little personality now. Yep. Stay out of sight. We need you back alive. You have the frequency, Ghost? And your modifications. We'll be ready. Then move quietly and unseen, like death. <sighs> Let's hope this works. Cloaking. I can't see you. <laughs> Can you see me? Keep your distance. Fun. They can't see you, but they can still smell you. Uh -huh. Here's a replacer ship. We can't replace you. Cross the chasm. And her, their world. She does have weird kinks because she's getting into this. Yeah. A two mask. Be careful. We've still got to avoid them. I hope they can't see this thing. Oh no. The wretched songs in the wind as Ariana fell. Don't tell us about it. Reach Crota's tomb and take what remains of his soul. Okay. 
You don't ask for much. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of tools here. How do we find Protus? We take them all. <laughs> you know it when you see it. Ooh, freaky. I think we found it. Now, let the crystal drink deep from Crota's death essence. Oh god. Exposed. Yeah, yeah, crap. Walk for Transmat. Get out of there. We must have Crota's soul. Get it. Look, Jake, I got some. Walk for Transmat, Ghost. <laughs> I can't. Everything is corrupt. I can't connect. Stay alive. We've got to get back. Normally, be all for that. So little time. That's all right. It wasn't bad for me either. You pulled us out. <laughs> One of Tolan's tricks. There is nothing I fear more than the dark, but I will not lose another guardian. All right. You've imprisoned Respect. the last whisper of Crota's soul. It is left to you now. Find Oryx on the Dreadnought. Destroy him. There's more like this so sexual. Long ago. He calls out, and the darkness answers. Okay. Creepy sidekick, check. Roguish commander, check. <laughs> and then we have the Guardian, my greatest success story. I'd say we're ready to get this done. Yeah! I like Cade and Ares. I like their, like, contrasting personalities. Yeah, yeah. True. The they work really well off one another. She's right, Guardian. There's no doubt in my mind this could possibly work. Now, get to that rupture. <laughs> Every time I see rupture, I just think of like something medical that's gross and awful. Did you see the name of this mission? No. Regicide. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rupture Take down a king. Get it open. Once you're through, send your coordinates. We'll lock down your signal and deploy reinforcements. can sense the soul you hold. You are ascendant. Oh goody. Time to go kill a king, eh, Guardian? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Yeah. I'm ready if you are. I am ascendant. You know, for having a fancy portal, how are you expecting nicer commendations? <laughs> We're going to have to finish this on our own. Scans are returning nothing. We're definitely somewhere, Ooh. but yeah. no sign of aura. Now it lights up as we walk past. Like he's expecting us. You are the last hope of the light. I have taken entire worlds. You are not worthy to face me. The arrogance will be your undoing. Immune. Oh shit. Yeah. Maybe we need a new weapon. Big. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I guess we're worthy now. <laughs> yes, ghost. For making that for us. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Ooh. All right, it's got tricks. Yeah. Yeah, but ours, not yours. That one gun. Do the bow thing. There you go. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, stabby stab. What the hell just happened? Yeah, is there no explanation for that? <laughs> Cause this is like, I mean, he was laughing at the end. You don't laugh when you die. I mean, at least not without a shot at the hero at the end. Yeah. Having like a, you know, laugh at that or some kind of mm -hmm. sneaky line. My queen. You were right. The Guardian was the key. For the first time, the whispers are silent. It is done. No, it's not. I say, are we certain of that? I have accepted my fate.
I will not fail. Oh man, okay, I'm so confused about what's going on. So like, It almost looked like he got like sucked into a black hole. Yeah. But he was laughing about it, which is, um, I mean, personally, if I were being sucked into a black hole, I'd be pretty freaking scared. Yeah. Um, imminent demise and all that jazz that I would assume would go along with it. So I don't think we've seen the last of orcs. Um, no. And uh, what do you think about this uh, overall? I mean, I, I thought it was pretty cool. I liked the, uh, I wish the, the, we saw more of the the bow. That was, every time the bow got used, I thought that was really cool. Um, I really liked that weapon. Um, the cutscenes were very good. Uh, Kate Six was great. And like we said before, Kate Six and um, Eris, their like whole dynamic worked well. And I'm very curious, is is Eris good or is she bad now? I don't know. The way that they ended that, it was, I mean, maybe Ominous. maybe to those who know Destiny, it was very obvious to us who are kind of new to this journey. Yeah. Um, it was very cryptic and, and sort of, open to interpretation from, from mm -hmm. what little we know. Eris could be evil now, maybe. Or maybe this is just like the next chapter of her and her journey and like battling with her own demons and darkness. What came out of the sword though? What was it, what was it that she like, she took and... Um... I was afraid at first it was a dagger and she was gonna like kill herself. Cause when she was like, she's like looking at yeah, it the all voice, yeah. like ominous. And then she's like, and I've accepted my fate or whatever it was that she said. And I was like, oh. So this is how you end too? Well, but then I, she didn't. So she's accepted her, her fate maybe like as like a uh, gatekeeper of, of sorts, whatever. She's going to keep whatever she took from that uh, sword like and protect it. And she's going to be protector, the protector of it all. Like, I, I don't know. Very, very confused uh, by the ending of it all. Um, and his Oryx attached to that. Whatever she took. Because yeah. it came from that sword. Is he is he attached to it in some fashion? Like some, I don't know. Is it like an so. Oryx Horcrux or something? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, they, wherever he is, he got he got like teleported or sucked in somewhere else, and he laughed about it. And um, I did not get his joke. Yeah, went over my head too. Um, what did you think about this overall? I really enjoyed it. Um, I, you know, kind of like how I said for the first one, I I enjoyed how we were getting to know the characters more. Mm -hmm. um, in the second half, I was getting even more enjoyment out of how the characters played off each other. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I said Kate is very cowboy-esque and he is, so he doesn't really have a lot of, he doesn't really have a lot of time or, or even necessarily patience for <laughs> the sorceress that is Eris. And yet at the same time, he very much enjoys kind of being tongue in cheek with her or mm -hmm. putting her down a little bit. Um, and she often seems unfazed and kind of like he's beneath her and she's just not going to give it any time or attention. But then when she does, she was pretty funny, and yeah. I hope we get to see more of that. Yeah, the, yeah. The best line was when he was like, "I'll come out here to the ground." He's like, "I'll, I'll try to step on your head." <laughs> that was gonna be like, okay, all right, a little, little personality from you, Harris. Uh, nice. Um, and Ghost, it was great having Ghost along for this journey. Um, really missed uh, Ghost for the last uh, couple of uh, cutscene reactions that we did for yeah. this one. Um, so you need to have Ghost in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still need to see the the mysterious. Um, Guardian or whatever that was like following us the whole time in the first Destiny yep. base game that like we still haven't really seen um, come back yet. Uh, so we need to we need to check that out. Um, Taken King was very cool enemy, like coolest boss I think we uh, enemy that we've seen so far in these uh, in these cutscene reactions that we've done. Um, what'd you think? Yeah, he was he was very big and intimidating and and like his echo that he could project yeah. was was very ominous. Um, I also loved when Eris said that, you know, nothing scared her like the darkness. And you're kind of like, oh, I mean, I kind of think darkness might be your vibe or something, but I guess not. <laughs> and then when we get to that part of fighting Oryx and like yeah. all the lights go out and just that trail and then his logo, I was like, oh, I get why you don't like the darkness. <laughs> it makes sense now. Why you sleep with the nightlight on. Yeah. I get it now. Let us know what you thought about these cutscenes down below in the comments. And in the description of this video, we got a playlist for all of our Destiny journey. This is the first time you're checking us out. Go ahead and check out the rest of our Destiny reactions down below. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue with our Destiny journey. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's not every week, but uh, you know, we like to get to it when we can. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Destiny, the Taking King, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.